Yo, what's up, man? Uh -huh. I'm a Coco God boss, man. You know what I mean? So, um, yo, this video, man, this uh, response video goes out to this uh, YouTube uh, cat, black brother that I just saw. Uh, name is Sakura Sakukukak, whatever, man. Uh, got your name wrong. Shout yourself out. Oh, uh, before I get started, check out this car right here, man. Check out this red car. This is, this is a Japan, you know what I'm saying? Like the shit that you can see in Japan. I guess you motherfuckers in California. Check this shit out, man. Wow. That's a spaceship car. You see that? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That shit, that shit is ill, man. You know what I'm saying? The things people do with their money. But anyway, yo, man. Um, this uh, this video. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we on our way to, we, you know, about to go to Hiroshima right now. Yeah. All right? And, um. This cat was like, yo, uh, black people in Japan, weird. And uh, he was talking about, like, how he met some black people in Japan. And, you know, like, when you see other black people, instead of like, hey, what's up, you know, giving dap, you know what I'm saying, what's up, peace, fam, some shit. Mm -hmm. You know, black people look at you all funny. There's some, some black people that look at you like, you know, like that and everything, man. You know? So I was like, yeah, man, you're right, man. You know what? Um... I noticed that shit when I first came to Japan back in the day, and this is gonna this is gonna uh, bug you out. It's gonna fuck you up, man. But um, you know who's doing that shit the most was like American black people. You know what I mean? I was expecting you know like American black people would be some of the first people to be like, hey, what's up, bro? How you, how you doing? Kind of shit, right? But black motherfuckers was over here acting all like you know scared and like acting like pussies and shit when they see other black people man as much as this shit is gonna like you know surprise you some of you all right the vast majority of the black people that you meet in japan more than likely gonna come from like the african continent as much as it's gonna shock you man you know uh it's the african cats that helped me out the most initially when I first came here. And you might have heard me talk about this or reference this in some of my other, you know, video commentaries back in the day. Check them out if, if they still up. I don't know. But that, that's the shit, man. The wildest shit, man. I think two inc in, in, incidences, inc in, incidents, right, where African cats helped me out. No, three, four, actually, man. You know what I'm saying? African motherfuckers helped me out, man. You know what I'm saying? You can hammite them all you want to, man, but like it was my own Judas that motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, tried to like motherfucking Judah, man, you know what I'm saying, almost make you have to slap the shit out of them, man. Motherfuckers be bringing that damn, you know, whatever. I ain't gonna call out no gang names and shit like that, cause y'all motherfuckers take it to the next level all the time. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't gonna go after George Zimmerman and all the rest of the racist motherfuckers for nothing. Y'all go after other black people, so, you know, fuck all that, but. You motherfuckers come over here with that fake ass gang shit. You know what I'm saying? Acting like we gonna steal their bitch ass little fucking, you know, their damn huge ass cameras and shit from like 1980. Motherfuckers be bringing like WPIX big giant contraptions, video cameras and shit. They, can get, they got the latest technology. And I'm like, bro, we over here in Japan, man. We got fucking cameras over here the size of a fucking pin needle and shit that we can walk around film a whole movie with and shit. You motherfuckers coming over here with that damn, you know what I'm saying, big ass septic tank on your back and shit, man. Acting like brothers over here gonna steal that shit, man. And you know what I'm saying, brothers acting like all oh, pussy and shit. I remember when I was in Tokyo one time and, uh, you know, I saw this black girl, you know what I'm saying, she wasn't, she wasn't cute or nothing, but she was black. I'm black. Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? I ain't even say what's up. I said, hey, how you doing? The bitch look at me like, you know that shit. You know what I'm saying? Them big ass Christmas tree head bitches and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck you. All right, that bitch. Okay, then I walked off with my fine ass Japanese. What a Ammonite bitch, man. Made her look stupid. You know what I'm saying? Lonely ass. The hell with you, you know what I'm saying? At least you could have made a friend that day, but you didn't. You know what I'm saying? And you spent the rest of your days in Japan pissed off. There's no J dude wanting to fuck your dumb ass anyway. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of brothers, man, you know, uh, over here in Japan, you know what I'm saying, act a little shady, man. 
<laughs> Everybody says so, man. But I've been fortunate to make a lot of good uh, friends that's black, man. And they pretty much had the same type of, uh, um, uh, you know, mindset that I have. Now, of course, uh, they haven't been as extreme as I might be in uh, speech and otherwise. Y'all know my man GS350JPN, you know what I'm saying? I met him back today. And I'm fortunate as well, man, to still have a lot of those people still my friends today. But um, there's a lot of black people uh, in uh, Hiroshima, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. A lot of black people in Hiroshima. So uh, you know, we're gonna go check, you know, check out Hiroshima and uh, see what's up, you know, to them out there. But like, yeah, man. Um, a lot of black people out here, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes act a little shady. They act a little bougie. They act like you know, um, you know, they just animation freaks. You know what I'm saying? talk like homos, be wearing flip-flops and shit, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, you can't say hey brother to them and shit like that, you know? They follow white people and um, white people leave their ass and when white people leave their ass, you see the motherfuckers like stray dogs be chasing after, master, master, don't leave me, master. You know what I'm saying? You be talking to black people and shit. You talk to another black person and they be with a group of white people and shit, the fucking white people even though they be from America just like you, fucking white people are like run off and leave their ass and they talk, you still there talking to that black person, that black person that you just met, turn around and see all his white friends gone. You catch up to them later, yo, why you leave your friend back there? And shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They just leave that motherfucker, man. We met this black brother at a temple one time. He's with a bunch of white people. He said, hey, brother, what's up? Hey, where you from? Yeah, I'm from Texas. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Fucking white friends, group of them, man. Four, five, six of them. Brady Bunch looking motherfuckers. They left his ass. And then he said, huh, huh? He turned around, them motherfuckers was gone. He's like, what the fuck? You meet other black people, this shit, they just abandon your ass, man. That's why white people should be adopting black kids, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when that kid no. meets some black ki people in real life and shit, and they might talk to him and shit. The fucking kid abandoned him and shit. Like fucking cats and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Left his ass, man. But I gotta tell you, man. I, I yo, man. I right, maybe, maybe I got, I got a shout out to the you Hamites or whatever, man. But like, yo, this African brother uh, helped me out recently. Y'all know he is, but I ain't gonna say his name. And you know, he cool. We used to hang out. Uh, and um yeah yeah back, oh yeah 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 this 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 the the thing back in the day man when I was doing Osaka man this dude tried to stab me man at um that uh club called uh what's it called I ain't gonna say uh Sam and Dave man out in made up like right across from the American embassy and shit so I was up there one night man this fucking Japanese dude man was in the line behind me try to stab me and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? He, and he, you know, he tried to stab me through a jacket, through his fucking jacket and shit. And in the back, in the back, all right? So I turned around, dealt with him, fucking security, started like treating me like I was a drunk troublemaker, threw me out. So we outside and everything, I'm trying to tell these motherfuckers, man, do you see that dude with the fucking, like, little screwdriver thing? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't tell what he had in his hand. It looked like, like, I don't know what it was, man, but, like, that shit was poking me in the back, man. Like, motherfuckers was trying to, like, fuck with me. Next thing you know, I'm surrounded by, like, two or three security guards, right? The motherfuckers pushed me out on the sidewalk. Okay, so then, all right, I got tired of them pushing me, man. So, like, I smacked the first guy, you know what I'm saying? He went back, you know, like, then they came at me again. Got him with a body shot. Boom, got him. Next thing I know, I turn around. I don't know, I hit the ground, man. One of them motherfuckers kicked me in the fucking face. You know what I'm saying? When I turn around, he kicked me in the fucking face. And I woke up inside of a car. No, seriously, I woke up inside of a car. One of these African dudes I know. This dude's like, you all right, brother? You all right, brother? You all right, brother? I was like, what the fuck am I, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 man, no, man. The fucking police came, man, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know, whatever, like, I guess, I, I didn't turn, it was like three of the security, whatever, right? I'm, I'm fucking dealing with two of them, and then, and then I turned around, and then somebody hit me with a, like, KO kick, 
uh -huh. K1, whatever shit you, kicked me. You knocked you knock out you? Yeah, I guess so, man, because I hit the ground, and I remember, you know, like, yeah, I just remember turning around, hitting the ground or something, and then I woke up inside of a car uh -huh. with, like, you know, two or three African dudes and shit, you know what I'm saying, and, like, my head was hurting and shit, I'm like, yo, where the fuck am I at and shit, you know what I'm saying, like, no, but, uh, no, but, uh, the fucking police came, man, the fucking Japanese, you know what I'm saying, Apparently, you know what I'm saying, the African dudes helped me out and shit. Mm -hmm. And then one of them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, caught a lump, caught a lump or two. But like they said, you know, they ain't gonna let nobody, you know, jump on no other black dude and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I guess they ain't know I was American, mm -hmm. but still, you know what I mean? But then one dude, you know, I, like I said, I knew him, so he had to know I was American. Was that, yeah, he helped me out in that situation. And then there was another time when this, uh, you know, this Japanese bitch, this Japanese bitch, you know what I'm saying, like tried to run me over with her damn car and she had that plastic cover for the uh, Jeep and shit. Mm -hmm. So when she came by, man, I was doing like them bullfighters, man. I'm like, ole, and shit, and I'm moving out the way just as her car came and punched out that fucking plastic window and shit. Bitch had the nerve to stop the car, talk about, hey, you punched out my window, I'm gonna call police, wait, I'm gonna call police and shit. Like, I'm gonna wait, bitch, fuck you, you damn hit me. I should, you know, lay down in the street and play dead. And then, you know what I'm saying, like, have the motherfuckers arrest you. And then next thing you know, man, at that time, man, it's like a lot of Africans having stores in that particular street. Because that was Ame Muda, right? All them African brothers came out, you know what I'm saying? They was like, get out of here, get out of here, bitch. Get out of here. We saw the whole thing, you hit him, you know what I'm saying? Get out of here, get going, and shit. That bitch got so scared, man, she thought, <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Good for her. Yeah, <laughs> man, dumbass bitch. But see, you know what? Like I said, I should have damn played dead and then got, you know, caught a million. Because, like, doesn't matter what happens. I heard, you know what I'm saying? Like, if even if I punched the damn window out, man, you know what I mean? Like, she still, like, hit me, yeah. technically. She, doesn't matter. Even if she driving a car, man. You know what I mean? And, like, people used to do that shit. And I think they still do with, like, blatant disregard. For other people's you know life and stuff like yeah. that and then they had a the nerve to be like oh i'm so sorry to me i'm saying be putting flowers on the side of the road but i'm getting off topic yeah. black people in japan yes yeah, some of them do act a little weird man i gotta gotta you know gotta put that but it's getting better man i'm gonna tell you the best people to meet over here in japan is uh jamaicans man jamaicans and uh the um the fucking Judah, man, American blacks, is 50-50, man, 50-50. Me, females, black females over here in Japan, that's that's running on empty, bro, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? These black females is just as gone over here as they are in America, nine times out of ten. Best people to meet over here is Jamaicans, man. Jamaican, Benjamin, you know what I'm saying, they're the best people, some of my best friends. And they go for theirs, bro. There ain't no lazy motherfuckers over here that's Jamaican I with that, man. Never had no beef with no Jamaicans over here. We like family, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. But Tokyo, Tokyo ain't my territory. And, uh, you know, I don't really, you know, I only get out to Tokyo, but like, oof, man. Once every two or three years, shit like that. Nagoya, this is my people. Nagoya is my people out there. Nagoya, you got, um, uh, Simeons and uh, and uh, Asha over there, man. So they cool. They they good. You know, what I'm saying good people. Asha, Judah, and Simeon in uh, Nagoya. So that means Dominican, Brazil, and uh, you know American American black brothers. That's over there in Nagoya. Nagoya is tight, man. As far as I know, man, the brothers still cool out there. All right. And like I said, we on the way to Hiroshima. Heard a lot of Judas be out here in Hiroshima. Um, you know, a lot of hams be out here too. But, uh, you know, like I said, man, you know, like over here, you know, we, we on a suicide mission. So uh, we have to uh, continue to do the Lord's work, man. All right? So yeah, just doing that, uh, but you know, but we gonna, we gonna get into that later. So maybe, you know what I'm saying, we'll meet a couple of uh, black brothers tonight, you know what I'm saying, or something like that, black people out here tonight. And we'll see, we'll see how whether uh, black people is cool in Japan or not, all right? So uh, yeah, that's my uh, quick story right quick. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, we'll get back 
to you in a little while. Peace. Hi.